he may not be. Um, the, um, the Intercept um, online journal revealed on Friday um, quite serious allegations that I understand Telstra and others are trying to validate at the moment um, that US and British signals intelligence agencies broke into SIM card providers, one in particular based in Holland, um, Gemalto, and stole millions of keys, of encryption keys, that allow mobile phone handset communications to remain private. Um, are you aware of that story or any subsequent reporting in Australia on that issue? Um, I'm aware of the story. Great, okay. Um, I am trying to establish who the lead agency is in terms of responding to try and establish how many Australian handsets, credit cards, passports and otherwise have been compromised through that hack. Is it ACMA? Um, I think it is not. You'd um, know, but presumably, it's, if it was, right? Well, I, I hope that I, yeah. I would. <laughs> um, but in fact, I was only reading through um, the story this morning and... Um, uh, what do you have to say about it? That would be the biggest hack in history. It would potentially compromise millions of Australians' mobile phones. Uh, what, have, what have you got for us? Oh, well, um, we will obviously have a keen interest in the steps that have been taken by um, providers to protect the data of their customers. Um, under the legislation, there are some uh, circumstances which are beyond the reasonable control of providers where um, that is not problematic, but um, as I understand it, things, well, um, certainly my understanding of the uh, events doesn't allow me to make authoritative comment at the moment. Okay. Um, and so there's, so the ACMA as the regulator of, among other things, mobile telecommunications in this country, you haven't taken any formal steps to work out what the phone companies are doing, what other agencies of the Australian government might know? No, not at this how, stage. How no, this this falls you... into the category, I'm afraid, Senator, of breaking um, news for us. Mm -hmm. um, but um, certainly we have a role regulating the conduct of carriers and of ISPs and their interaction with consumers and um, the adequacy of the steps they take to protect their customers' data. Okay. So, so that's the, the lens that we would bring to it. But as I understand it, um, the uh, the companies involved are are still trying to get a handle on what, if anything, has occurred. All right then. I'm not. I don't want to try and force you into hypotheticals. And there's no um, none of the stuff that I've read uh, implicates the telecommunications providers in any prior knowledge um, of of um, the intrusion, not into the phone company systems, but into the company that manufactures the SIM cards. So I could understand why that telcos themselves would be scrambling to establish the truth. Um, but what are the laws in Australia that would either require providers or maybe not compel providers to issue a recall of SIM cards if they have in fact been compromised in that way? Is there anything that would require that? Um, uh, the things that occur um, to me um, are either um, consumer legislation, there might be questions about the fitness for purpose of the SIM cards provided. Um, there's also, right. um, you know, possibly action that might be required um, by the Privacy um, Commissioner, the Information Commissioner. Yep. Um, and as I say, we have this lens where we have some oversight of the relationship between phone companies and their customers and the privacy of their data. So, so um, I get to the, the pleasure of chasing these different agencies all over the building this week. Um, so I won't ask you to take responsibility for other parts of the public service, but what do you intend to do depending on how this plays out. The reports appear credible. Um, what will ACMA's role be if they are authenticated, if it turns out to be true that millions of Australian handsets and other devices have been compromised? We will um, liaise with other agencies who have a potential interest in the matter um, and um, you know, formulate in cooperation with them um, an appropriate plan. I, I, I can't be more specific than that, Senator. You know, um, that's you're valuable. asking me to predict um, a scenario that's got a lot of um, conditions precedent. Um, how, how seriously do you treat these reports? I'm not aware off the top of my head of anything as serious as this in the Australian telecommunications industry since forever. Hmm. 
that may well be so. And we have memorandums of understanding in place, including um, with the Privacy Commissioner, um, and we would work you know, with the Privacy Commissioner or other interested agencies. Now, things are at a very early stage, and um, there is certainly no specific action planned um, beyond monitoring and verifying the reports. Okay. Um, you, you probably didn't have a whole lot of material at your desk and maybe you didn't expect I was going to come and ask you about this stuff, but could I just ask you to take on notice if there's anything you would like to advise us of that might contain a bit more structure, given that I didn't give you any warning that I was going to ask about this matter, as to uh, what kind of coordinated or uncoordinated response you might be part of within the broader Australian government. Sure. And, and of course, it, 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 perhaps it also goes without saying that there may well be criminal conduct involved. There may, although it's likely to have occurred on behalf of the NSA and GCHQ, which I wouldn't expect you guys mm. to go and prosecute, although it'd be fun to watch you try. All right. Um, thank you, Chair. I'm done.